hi everybody um, we're going to work through um, percentages um, so it is quite useful to be able to find particular uh, amounts of percentages because you can you know work them out in your head um, like 50 and 20 is 70 percent and 20 and 5 is 25 percent so um, you can break those percentages down and work with them in this way um, we will look at the 75 25 a little bit later but let's get the method clear in our heads today and that method will be finding 50 percent 10 percent and five percent so to make life easier with percentages you can find 50 percent 10 percent and five percent so these 50 10 and 5 are all manageable numbers that we can work with and that is one of the problems in maths is that sometimes obviously in a test they give you um numbers that aren't always manageable and that can put you off but there are methods to help you and this is one that can help you with percentages so let's just work out how to find 50 percent 10 percent and five percent um, so to find 50 percent we divide by two and here we have a practice question on the right in pink find 50 percent of 400 so 400 divided by two equals 200 because 50% is a half, and so half of anything you divide by two. So we know how to find 50%. So now let's find out how to find 10%. To find 10%, you divide by 10. So let's look at our practice on the right here. Find 10% of 400. So we divide by 10. 400 divided by 10 equals 40. So we know that 10% of 400 is 40. To find 5%, you divide your 10% answer by 2, because 5 is half of 10. So if you're ever told to find 5% of anything, what you can do is you find 10% first, and then you divide that answer by 2. So if we look on the right here, on our practice question, find 5% of 400. Well, we know that 10% of 400 is 40, so we divide 40 by 2, which is 20. Right, okay. What we're going to do is we're going to pick up one of these percentages, which is 10%. So we can use the 10% method to help us find 20%, 30%, 40%, 60, 70, et cetera, et cetera. So I'm just going to get you another slide. This is the way we have to do it. Yeah. There we go. Right, so working through this example here, using the 10% method to find 20%, 30%, 40%, et cetera. So what we're doing is we're finding the 10% number first, and then we're gonna change it into 20, 30, or 40. So sometimes a question might ask you to find 20%, 30%, 40%, etc. And what you can do is you can find 10%, which we know is divided by 10, then multiply by the amount. So let's look at our example here. Find 20% of 400. So we can use the method 10% of 400 is 40, okay, because we've divided 400 by 10. And what do we do? We multiply the 40 by 2 because we're looking for 20%. So 40 times 2 equals 80. So our answer is 80. 20% of 400 is 80. And if we wanted to find 30%, we would times 40 by 3. If we wanted to find 40%, um, we would times 40 by 4, etc. So you, if you want to find a large percentage, more than 10%, and it is a zero figure, it is in the tens, you divide by 10, and then you multiply by the amount, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Um, this is very useful and it can really help you gain confidence in finding percentages in percentage questions. A good way of um, working this out is two ways. I would suggest that you work some questions out um, 
without the calculator. Then use the calculator to check your answers. And that will be a really good way of you gaining some confidence in that what you're doing is correct. The maths is the same. You multiply and divide in the ways that, that I've shown you. So I'm going to give you some examples that are taken from the CGP book, level one. I'll just pull them up for you here. There we are. Just pull this over. You should be able to see it now. Okay, so here are some questions for you to do. Um, one to five. Um, give them a go and check them with a calculator afterwards to see if you've got them right. If you haven't, don't panic. Go back to the methods and work it out and sit back and go, hmm, what is it I've done wrong? It will be something very, very small. Don't worry about that. Give it a go and um, I will see you again soon with some more um, maths and English as it goes. Um, videos. You take care. Bye.